this is such an exciting week because I have four job interviews. So of course I wanted to vlog to look back on this week later to see what comes of it. So it is about 10 o'clock. I'm about to start my first theater class and then we have a very, very busy day. like nothing has changed since my last update but I had class worked out took a shower and cleaned up the apartment a little bit and now I'm getting to work I have two applications to do today and I have two interviews tomorrow one for a startup one for an agency and then I have another interview on Wednesday two other interviews on Wednesday both for agency and then potentially an interview on Thursday and then my vaccine appointment on Friday it's a very exciting but a very hectic week because I also have a huge project due Tuesday. So, it's going to be crazy, but I think it's really going to be a lot of fun too, so that's why we're here. And I also have an Upwork contract due tomorrow. So a lot of things happening tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably the hardest day. If I can make it through that, the rest of the week shouldn't be too, too bad. But I did my laundry, oops, I think my laundry's over there, because as I'm trying to get ready for these interviews, I'm also trying to do stuff around the apartment. That way, if I get sick after my vaccine appointment on Friday, my laundry is done, if there's food to eat, the apartment's pretty clean. So, it's gonna be a crazy week. So, Fordham also just sent out an email about graduation. So, that's weird to think about. So, lots going on today. But I'm going to finish my applications get some lunch, and then see where the day takes us. It really looks like I've never moved from the seat, which honestly, partially true. Let me take out my AirPods. I edited and uploaded this week's video today. And then since then, I've just been doing a lot of interview prep. I have two interviews tomorrow, like I mentioned. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm applying to be a marketing analyst or a business intelligence analyst or paid search or paid social. Um, so those are the job opportunities that I'm currently looking at. I just had a networking call with someone from a company I'm interested in applying to. It's so funny because I actually had contacted someone at this company probably six months ago or so and told them I was really interested in working there and they put me in touch with someone else who unfortunately did not respond to my emails sometimes that just happens um, but now I'm talking to someone else who works there and I'm really excited so she's going to submit my resume for a position the only downside to this company is that they only hire people as interns or coordinators which is minimum wage for the first three months and then they promote you so yeah, I'm not 100% sure that it would work, but I could always use more interviews just for practice. But I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. I'm really blessed to be in the position to have all of these interviews. I'm still applying to 15 jobs a week just because while these interviews are great, there is no promise that I will hear back from them again. So just trying not to put all my eggs in one basket or anything like that. But yeah, I'm going to send over my cover letter and another email and then continue to prep for my interviews tomorrow. So for me, a pretty boring night, but it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I wanted to officially start off the vlog. It's been a very productive morning so far. I got up early, I did my workout, and then I made myself some breakfast, which obviously did not look pretty, but it did taste good. Um, so now I'm about to hop in the shower. My roommate was in the shower all of this morning. Um, so now I'm about to take a shower and then get ready. I have one interview I want at 3.30. Another interview at 4.30 and then class at 6.30. So a little bit of a hectic afternoon, but I'm really excited. Um, one of the interviews, like I mentioned, is for my freelance work and another one is for an agency. So I will probably already have news by the time you guys are watching this, but if you could just keep your fingers crossed for me, that would be great. So yeah, it's going to be quite the day. So 
So I'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> to always check your Google Calendar because I thought my interview was at 3.30 but it turns out it's at 3 and you know what time it is right now? 2.54 and you know what time it was when I realized my interview was at 3 o'clock? 2.50 so always 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 check your Google Calendar I had it written down wrong in my planner so yeah I was about to go make a sandwich when I got the Google notification so I'm glad I saw that um so yeah now I'm just sitting here Waiting for my interview to start. I don't really feel nervous yet, or at least not as nervous as I used to feel, so I'm hoping that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't believe that. I'm normally such an organized person. I think it's having like multiple interviews in one day that just has my head like, and my big project is due today, so it's just, just a lot going on. <laughs> Glad I realized that though, so I'll update you guys on how it goes after. Whew. Okay, it's later now, um, much later actually. I'm exhausted completely, mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted. So let's chat about why that's the case. <laughs> so my first interview went really well. Um, I thought it was at 3.30, it turns out it was at three. I was actually very well prepared, so it was fine. I mean, it was only a half hour off, so. Me and the interviewer really hit it off. She said that even if she finds out this position is filled, she's going to send my resume to some other people, which was so great. Then I had another interview at 4.30. This is where the day starts to descend. Um, this was a freelance interview, like I mentioned, so it was not for an entry-level job. Um, it was just a favor to a friend, and oh my god. <laughs> It lasted for an hour and a half, but the first hour I didn't talk at all. So she was trying to explain to me her business idea because it's first startup, and the first hour was just her trying to explain to me what it was. Um, I was like trying to get an idea of what she wanted me to do. She didn't really know, or like she kind of knew. She asked me to send in a content calendar, which is when you create um, a little calendar with what's going up on what day. Um, but she told me she wanted analytics help and i was like analytics people don't create content calendars um but because it's for a friend i said i would try so i'm going to meet with my friend in a couple days because i don't think that i am the right fit so then i had to scramble to make dinner because i thought it wasn't going to take as long because it was an interview um so i didn't think it was going to take an hour and a half but it did so then now I'm in class and normally all my night classes end a little bit earlier since a lot of classes we do asynchronous and synchronous learning. This one is going to take all night <laughs> until 9.15 and then we have a meeting with the professor after because our project got screwed up somehow and no one knows how to fix it. So I have a meeting with him until 9.45. And then I have to go to maths because I have to watch something for theater that's an hour long and Kendall's already told me it's horrible. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. And then tomorrow is also going to be a shit show. So yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed right now um, because I know my interview tomorrow is going to be really hard. Like I've seen so many things on Glassdoor that all the interviews to this place are so ridiculous and I only have three hours to get ready. I mean, I tried to prep a little today, but I already had two interviews in class, so it didn't give me a lot of time. So, hoping tomorrow I can prepare more. Just feeling a little run down and <laughs> exhausted because I still, it's 7.45 and I still have at least three hours of like work ahead of me. Um, so yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows living in New York and being a student. And it's just now is one of those times when it's not sunshine and rainbows. But I'm trying to stay positive because the interview that I had, um, the first interview I had was really good and the salary was good too. So I'm going to get back to work, but I'll see you guys later. friends coming to you from apparently my new usual location at my desk 
Um, so today is Wednesday. I had class this morning and then I've just been getting ready for an interview ever since then. I have an interview at 3.30 and then I have a meeting at 4 and then another meeting at 6.45. So a little bit of a busy day. This interview is definitely the hardest one that I've prepared for yet. Um, it's a phone interview, which is why I'm dressed so casually. Um, but yeah, it's for an ad agency. I'm really, really excited. This so far is probably my top choice out of the offer i mean out of the interviews i've accepted so far um so yeah it's very hard the interview process um but i'm if i make it through this round i will be halfway through so that's pretty exciting um so yeah just doing a lot of prep i actually got another interview today so feeling pretty good to be honest i'm pretty excited so I have another interview for next Wednesday. I'm trying to keep them all in like the same time frame roughly. That way if I progress through the rounds, I will have offers from all three, hopefully all three at the same time. Um, so that's kind of the plan with that. Yeah, it's been uh, quite a week this week. I have, um, have quite the to-do list. Um, to complete before tomorrow or before uh friday so lots of work ahead of me but i'll be sure to update you guys on how the interview goes hello friends welcome back to the vlog whoops almost knocked the computer off my thing so my interview went pretty okay it was one of those ones where like i can't really tell how it went like it could have gone badly or it could have gone well um yeah those are kind of my least favorite i'd either rather know it went really bad or be excited that it went really well but life just happens sometimes <laughs> i don't know what else to say so yeah waiting to hear back about that and then i had another meeting with one of my mentors that went really well decided to pass on the freelance project that i told you guys about before it just was not going to work i don't really do well when there's not a lot of direction that's something i've learned about myself in college uh, but my parents will probably say that I should have known about that way before then uh yeah i don't do well with no directions so that project was not going to work and that's fine um and then i just have been working away i mean i've had so many interviews this week that i have not done anything for school so i'm really behind so i'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time today and tomorrow doing my homework which is so fun and sexy i know um, but tonight I'm making some ground turkey pasta and then I'm going to Matt's because he has an HBO Max subscription which I need to watch Angels of America for theater. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, really looking forward to tomorrow. It's more of a lax day. I mean, I have a crap ton of work to do. Um, not gonna sugarcoat that, but I don't have any interviews for the first day this week, so pretty excited about that really need to get caught up my to-do list is like a mile long so but i'm feeling in a good place whereas the other few days this week i was i was not always feeling in a good place i feel like last night it all kind of hit me um exactly what this week was entailing and it was a little bit overwhelming but i think tomorrow i'm gonna treat myself to starbucks get a good workout in have a really productive day and then friday is my second vaccine appointment your girl about to be fully vaxxed okay that was so embarrassing i'm sorry so yes i'm going to go and make dinner i will check back in with you guys tomorrow <laughs> I'm in the frame. Let me check on that right now. Okay, I think this is gonna be a little bit better. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. I'm starting today's portion of the vlog just a tiny bit late. It's five o'clock. <laughs> um, let's see, what happened today? I had class this morning, which I left to go get Starbucks because here's the thing. It's been raining all day. 
I had a to-do list a mile long and I really needed coffee. I tried to make coffee here, but my french press wasn't working. So I had to go to Starbucks before it started raining. And it was gonna start raining at 11 and class ends at 11.15. So I had to go during class. I'm so glad you can all see exactly what I'm saying. My go-to order lately has been a tall iced cafe mocha with toffee nut syrup. That's what I've been getting every time I go. You should definitely try it. It is a little sweeter than what I would get normally, to be honest, but I don't know. I've been kind of into it lately. Honestly, all I've been doing is homework. I have my second vaccine appointment tomorrow, which I'm so excited about, but I feel like I'm probably going to get sick just based on what my friends and family have experienced. So I'm trying to do all my homework, clean my apartment, and just like get a bunch of life stuff kind of ready before that in case I'm down and out for the count. I'm seriously hanging on by a thread right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm taking a little break to update you guys because I needed to stop staring at a screen. Um, I've been reading this book called The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them. And that has been amazing. So if anyone is out there that's my age, this is a great book. It's about it will not tell you what you should do with your life, but it will inspire, motivate, and educate you to figure it out, so. Well, I got it. I got second round interview at one of the companies I applied for, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I'm gonna try and push through this paper, and then I need to find something to eat, and then I think I'm just gonna take it easy. I was supposed to do a workout. I was really trying to get another one in before my vaccine appointment. But to be honest, I just don't think that's going to happen. I only worked out twice this week and I probably won't be able to work out for at least a couple days next week um, because of my arm. And I'm a little bit disappointed, but honestly, sometimes like that's just how it works. So I'm just going to try and be gentle with myself. So I'm going to get back to work, but I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're all doing well. Yes. What just came in the mail? It is my cap and gown. I have three face masks. That's what they look like. So this is the gown. Should I try it on? I should probably try it on. Obviously, there's no mirror behind me, so you guys can just tell me how I look. Whole thing, which way does this go? I think this goes this way. I have my hair in a clip, so I can't imagine this is gonna go that well. The academic hood. Yeah. Essential, essential part of the overall prestigious look. Yeah, okay. All right, well, there's this, whatever this is. I'm just going to shove it all back in the bag and then probably forget about it until it's time to walk across the stage and I realize nothing is ironed. Mom, please don't kill me. When medical grade PPE is recommended, this mask should not be used. Okay, well, good to know. Well, that's all. I wasn't planning on doing this and not just texting me that it came in, so I figured I'd go pick it up before someone stole it because I'm not going to order this again. So, thank you guys for trying on my cap and gown with me. So exciting.